Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are again with another new promo in EAFC 24 and something we've never encountered before. We have a promo, guys, upcoming called Ultimate Dynasties. Based on the loading screen that we had yesterday and the leaks that we have, this promo is entirely about related footballers and yes it does have some potential but will it be a w we're going to discuss that today versus all of the cards that we have to look at we'll cover all the news right now in this game some of the thunderstruck upgrades prices moving up and down and of course that new patch that did end up dropping yesterday if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content really quick there wasn't a whole lot. We had a player SBC that was a bit of a surprise. I guess, first of all, the biggest thing right now on this game in terms of the what's going on is definitely the patch. There was a patch yesterday and a lot of people are playing the game. Let me know down in the comments what your experience was with gameplay, right? Got my rivals games in and the gameplay didn't feel that different. I especially did not notice the nerf to finesse shots as I scored a 35 yard finesse curler with Hyunmin Sun as if nothing was even touched with finesses. So, I don't know what you guys found. Let me know down in the comments. I did feel like the, the press and the midfield was a bit more open, like they said, but it's going to take more playing time and more just time on the game to really start to figure that out. But in terms of content, we did have a player SBC yesterday, and I'm going to stop guessing with when this Adama SBC is coming out, guys. All right, I'm just going to stop guessing because... I don't know. As we had an SBC yesterday that none of us really expected, it was really cheap, easy to do. It's not that great of a card, to be honest, but it's only 30,000 coins. I did it. I had a duplicate 84, so I sent some 84s into it, and boom, it's done. And that was it. We had a Frankowski. We had a tradable Mega Pack SBC. That was nice. We had a new Bundesliga objective for some TIFOs and for some kits and stuff like that. And uh, some lightning rounds. Like, that was yesterday's content, guys. It was very, very quiet. EA was definitely wanting to make the game gameplay push yesterday on this game that was the biggest thing the new patch the update there's new players that are on the transfer market and actually now in packs as well you can see uh, Adama was extinct at one point, but Adama's on the market. He's like 9,000 coins. That is his card. You've got a Ramos that is now on the game. You can kind of just go through Footbin if you actually want to and notice some of the players that have been added into the game. Alexis Sanchez, Adama Traore, and Sergio Ramos, along with Santi Gazorla, Balotelli, some of the most popular cards that have been added. If you go to Footbin, do, go to the New Players tab, you can see all the new players that have been added. A couple of decent evolution gems in there as well. Just make sure you check through there for some evolution possibilities. I was doing that a little bit earlier. Now, I did mention lightning rounds, right? We did have some prices that dropped yesterday because of that supply. And Araujo was one of those cards. These cards dropped a little bit, not a ton. But you can see here, Araujo went from 530, about 530 to 540. He was all the way down at 500K and is now back up to 530, 540,000 coins. And that was kind of the trend with not all, but a, but some, a few of these radioactive cards as they did get supplied yesterday. Really didn't impact fodder that much. Like a lot of fodder is still moving upwards. 86 is again going up with the 84 times three refresh. Um, the higher rated fodder continues to go up just a little bit. I have sold basically all of my 88s. I did use some to complete another squad of Mbappe, which I'm one squad away from. So close to getting that done. Uh, so fodder, everything honestly was just pretty quiet yesterday on the game. Even the team of the week that was dropped yesterday, very mid, honestly. Uh, Hegerberg, Rodman's probably the headliner of team of the week. Bukayo Saka, actually, right now there is only one card over 100,000 coins in this team of the week. Probably one of the worst team of the weeks that we've had of the year, to be completely honest. Another thing that happened yesterday on this game was the Thunderstruck upgrades and a couple of surprises in here, specifically with Gabriel Jesus and those Arsenal players that technically have got all of their upgrades. EA must be upgrading these cards one week at a time. And I mean by like what I mean by that is since the Jesus game and even the games that were played yesterday, like City and, and Joe Gomez from Liverpool, like those games. Uh, those games technically didn't count for the upgrades that happened yesterday, of course, the ones that were played yesterday, but the Jesus like match was part of the next week of upgrades, I guess you would say. So I would imagine that next Wednesday, Gabriel Jesus, um, Sol Campbell, and 
uh, Thierry Henry will be getting their final upgrades because they have achieved that mark. But it seems like EA just want to kind of keep the weeks separate. I, I don't know. It uh, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's the way they're going about it. And a lot of cards did get upgraded yesterday as expected. And their prices are doing pretty well. Quadrado is 170,000 coins. Um, Titty with the links to Frankowski is going up a bit. And then, of course, the games that did happen yesterday, Ansu Fati is 477k absolutely exploded yesterday after brighton won and he is now on the road to getting more upgrades uh i believe he's getting the two play styles next because i think that was his second win let me take a look at this that's a huge price spike for just getting a couple of play styles um yeah that's their second win so they got one more win to go they play burnley and if they do win that's this weekend then that's probably why his price is going up so much people are like okay they should beat Burnley with a win. That would get him to an 87 rated card with play styles added to his card. So there's a lot of hype for these cards, specifically for the ones that are live. And guys, we will be talking, especially for some of these that have exploded in price that are maybe reaching their final upgrade. Really, you want to sell into the hype probably at the beginning of next week or maybe even sometime this weekend. Gabriel Jesus kind of on the opposite side of that. I picked up a couple of Jesus at around 230,000 coins. People were excited for his upgrade. They were thinking he was going to go to an 88 and get that final upgrade, but he did not. So he went down, down to 230K. I picked up a couple of there. And uh, he's now back up to 240. Hopefully, he can rise a little bit more back in the 250s, 260s before he gets his upgrade. Um, as a lot of these cards will probably continue to do well through the weekend because they are live. But I would just once again say, sell into the hype. Even if you're like, Nate, you know, these cards, some of these cards are going to get maxed out. Their upgrades are going to be coming. Aren't they going to go up after that? No, I would say sell in the hype before they get to the upgrades. Um, because you don't want to mess with that. You don't want to mess with that because a lot of the hype built into the card prices right now is because the cards can get upgrades and continue to further upgrade. And after that's gone, a lot of the prices do tend to drop off. Now, that's enough for yesterday. Let's look at the loading screen. It's probably easier for me to just show you here on X. This is the loading screen, which actually, when it was put out, we did not have these two brothers leaked yet and now they of course are it is known that the timber brothers a very popular favorite in terms of brothers that have been released on ultimate team before remember they had the timber future stars spcs a couple years back in fifa we're getting a jurian timber and i forget the other timbers name to be completely honest but the center mid for feyenoord and the center back for arsenal they're going to be getting cards in this promo team there's a lot of leaks guys i want to take you through the players that have been leaked today that's what this promo looks like that it is combination of father son for a lot of the icons and regular cards but then also brothers and sisters brothers and brothers even cousins linking up in this game i just what what's special about this promo besides the family aspect like do these diamonds do these jewels the family jewels right do those mean anything we're coming off of a promo that gives extra chemistry for certain cards will these cards somehow have chemistry like together or something like i don't know if there's anything related to that there that's the news that i think we will we'll need something special with this promo to make it stand out if it's just kind of a cool filler promo which it might be then it might lack a little bit of hype. But before we decide that, let's look at some of the players. Maldini and Maldini. We've had Maldini cards before. The son Maldini as well. We are going to be getting Maldini's son as a objective according to the leaks. That was our first leak that we had yesterday. And then I'm guessing this Maldini would probably be in packs. I can't imagine that that card would be in objectives as well or even in SBCs. But that Maldini is supposed to be our objective. By the way... Harry Maguire has won Premier League Player of the Month, guys. That SBC coming on Friday. Um, the big thing is going to be how much pace is EA going to give him? How much of an upgrade are they going to give his card? That'll be something to see. That'll be a very interesting SBC coming this Friday. So watch out for that. We'll talk more about that soon. Rivaldo and Rivaldinho coming as Dynasty players soon. Here's my first problem that I'm noticing with a lot of these cards, the links. Yes, Rivaldinho is Brazilian, but that is not in a popular league. And we're coming off of a promo that players who are not in popular leagues were very popular to use in teams because you didn't have to worry about chemistry. And if you're going to something like this promo, where you're going to have the same problems linking some of these players, yeah, I know he's Brazilian, hook at the nation links, not that bad. I think there's going to be issues with these cards, even if they boost them up statistically really high. I think there's going to be problems with people being able to put them in the teams like Verone and his son. It's going to be a little bit difficult to link Verone um, in the Comedy Bowl League 
to other players on this game, although he is Argentinian. And that could be a really cracked card if he doesn't have good links somehow. It's going to be... They're going to be pretty cheap. That's the way that I see it. And I think that's starting to make people think this could be an L promo. But let's keep looking through the leaks. Now, here's an easy linking card. Of course, you've got Zidane, right? That's going to be in packs 100%. But then you've also got Zidane's son, the goalkeeper. Um, that could be a nice card. La Liga goalkeeper. He is French, of course. We'll just have to see how much they boost up some of the stats. That's the key for like these cards. There's a lot of cards in here that are... It's kind of like future stars, as we were discussing today on stream. A lot of these cards players like the sons of these you know icons or maybe even brothers as we'll look at of other players right now that are very popular it's they don't have very many special cards or maybe they've never got a special card ever before it's just going to be very interesting now these are the cards from the loading screen the timber brothers they're going to be pretty op they're going to be pretty popular they've got good links and uh of course arsenal prem center back and then a Dutch center mid as well. They've got, they've had good cards in the past. There's going to be some hype there. Moving up the list, Lauren and Reese James, a, a combo that once we kind of learn what this promo is going to be about, a lot of people wanted to see. Evidently, both of these cards are very overpowered in game. I used Reese James gold card at the early beginnings of the year, and people said that Lauren James's card is very, very good as well. That might be your, that be your right side sorted uh, with those two brother and sister combo. If their cards look pretty good in this game. We've got the Taram brothers. You might remember Kefram Taram from League One Team of the Season in past years. Hullet Gang cards in the past. Insane, insane card. And then I think um, Marcus Taram had like was a World Cup showdown card last year uh, for a game as well. So these guys are no strangers to kind of family-related promos. Those were a very popular thought for when this promo was coming up. Those could be pretty good. And then we go to some pretty meta options. Lucas and Teo Hernandez. We just had a Teo Hernandez in for him. Well, we're looking like another Teo is going to hit the market. This one's going to be expensive, man. Very, very expensive. I think this uh, Lucas Hernandez could be very popular as well. French center back, PSG links. Perfect link to Mbappe. Might have to go into my team after I get a Bobby. We'll see how much he is, in of course, uh, is, of course. But that's pretty good, right? This is where it starts to get good. Teo and Lucas Hernandez, that's pretty big. Hoyland, you've got first Ho uh, first Hoyland special card ever. A lot of people have evoed his cards. Like A lot of Man United fans have done that. But we're getting Hoyland and Hoyland's younger brother. Remember, they actually played against each other in Champions League earlier on this year. That was pretty cool um, when Copenhagen played United. So that one's a cool one there. Hoyland's card... It's going to be interesting to see how much they juice it up. It's probably not going to be that amazing, um, but we'll just have to see how it looks. And then here's a banger right here, guys. Furlan Mendy and his cousin, Edward Mendy, did not know that they are related. I guess it is a cousin relationship in the same family, and um, they're not going to link at all. But that's another Furlan Mendy card. We're getting the two best French Men left back in the game in the same promo. We've had a Centurions Mendy and we have an Informed Teo. And now we're about to get two dynasties of those exact same cards. That's pretty crazy. Furland Mendy's card on the market has dropped off a lot after this leak. Because Mendy is just so popular. He's 650k. Yesterday before this dropped, he was 770k. He went all the way down to 600 and then went back up to 610. That was a crazy drop that we had there. But moving on, we've got a couple more. Oberdorf. Maybe you've packed 87 rated Oberdorf from a walkout pack so far this year. She is getting a card, and evidently it's her brother, Oberdorf, from the Bundesliga 2 that is getting a card as well. Uh, there's Trent from his <laughs> corner kick this week or this game yesterday. We've got Schlotterbeck, two brothers, two German center back brothers, both in the Bundesliga. That could be pretty interesting. And then we have a couple more guys from... FIFA Trading Romania, he tweeted out Haji, which we've had a Haji icon SBC in the past where we got his son as a part of the SBC as well. That was really cool. And Erling Holland, I, I'm just surprised that Erling Holland is getting into a promo like this, but it is his cousin, Braut Brunez, that is going to be getting a promo card as well. That would be a pretty crazy link up. That's, that's the cool part about this is that you might be able to link up some of these cards but also like Holland's not going to be cheap guys like there's no way you're going to be able to link this card with Bra Brunez like very easily they're going to be he's going to be super expensive so that's the thing that I worry about with this promo it's just going to be tough to link the cards and it's going to make people not really want to use them we'll just have to see Nico and Anaki Williams this just screams pace I hope that EA give them both 99 pace because that would be pretty sick and uh, there would be a lot of hype around those two with that there. And then, of course, the Mendian and the Mendy again. So 
that's a lot of players also. I think this is a one-week promo, guys. I don't think this would be a two-week promo. I think it should be one week and then done. And then we'll probably be looking at it's more so of like a holiday, Christmas season related promo. We'll just have to see. But like looking over this promo, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Like I think it has potential, but I think also when I look at it, I'm just, I just feel like the overwhelming feeling I'm getting is I'm going to be disappointed somehow or something about it just seems like it's not going to be that amazing. Like we have some really super meta cards like the Ferlan Mendy and the Teo Hernandez and the Erling Holland, some really big name cards in there. But then on the other end, you've got like the Brow Brunes and maybe the Williams cards and some other ones that are leaked in there that just, I just think like, like there's not going to be a ton of hype for this, especially because it's going to be tough to link them. So that's where I'm struggling to kind of compute what this promo is going to look like. I think there might be some cards that are stupid cheap and then also some that are really, really expensive. And that's just, that's just a little confusing. So we'll have to see. I think it comes down to honestly how much they boost the cards up um, on the middle tier and on the top tier and even on the, the cheaper tier as well. They're going to have to give out some good boosts. And then hopefully there's some way we can get these guys to link in teams as well because definitely not all of the leagues like Oberdorf, there wasn't a Bundesliga 2 player put into the radioactive team that you could use to help link him or anything like that. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, guys. But hopefully we we'll find out more information today. We, we need more info, honestly. What's going to spice this promo up besides that it's just different and it's just cool because there's family-related links in there? What's going to spice this promo up and make it really sick we'll find out hopefully some more of that today with an updated loading screen maybe some more leaks maybe some more news but let's talk about the market today as well as i mentioned yesterday was a pretty stagnant day apart from some movements on of course the finesse plus cards now we got to talk about these because there was actually a moment yesterday where a lot of these finesse pluses actually rebounded pretty well in price uh caroline graham hansen who i believe is now still in the low 1.5 mil range she had a really big spike in price yesterday as people were going back out to the market after playing the new patch and the game on the patch they were saying oh the game is not that much different she went from 1.4 mil all the way up to 1.62 but is now back down to 1.52 and guys for a lot of these cards I don't expect them to fully rebound back up to where they were. I'm not invested in any of the Finesse Plus cards. Yes, Hyun Min Sun is up a little bit from where he was, um, but I don't think these cards go back up, right? He he used to be 500,000 coins. I don't think that he gets there. I think that with the patch being out and people just hearing about the Finesse's being nerfed, it's going to maybe make people play the game in just a little bit of a different way. And I just think that some of those cards were a bit too overpriced anyways. I don't see them rebounding all the way back. But if you did notice yesterday, there were some rebounds. Um, but it did make for some good trading opportunities with those as well. Maybe a slow rise back up a little bit in the next week or two. But also, guys, I'm going to say this. It's coming in the next two weeks, probably maybe less than that. There is another market crash that is going to be coming almost 100%. There is almost every single year during December because of great content that we get around the holiday time period. I believe there will be another pretty sizable market crash. So it is coming again. Also, before team of the year is another reason why you see the market start to drop. And last year was like middle December, I think is when that happened. So it's probably going to happen again this year as well. We'll just have to see if everybody's expecting it to happen then it probably will happen. So we'll be watching that and monitoring that. But does this new promo look like it's going to really impact the market that much? Not a ton, which is why we probably should talk about market today with how things are going to move today on this game. Guys, Thursdays in the last couple of weeks have actually been good days to be trading and to be active on the market because a lot of people go out and they, they buy cards for teams because today is a day where people are buying cards to go and play qualifiers to get ready for champs. And maybe even just, I think people worry less about the market on Thursdays because it's usually a pretty quiet content day. So I think today could end up being a really good day to trade. I would watch out of pack special cards for sure the most um, because I think that's where you've got the best opportunity to make some flips. Uh, Dioro yesterday was between 171 and 180. Like if she goes under 170, that could be a good buy. I would just get on to Footbin, look at some graphs for the most recent promo teams or rare cards like these cards right here. The um, Trailblazers are very rare. They're really good to trade with just because they are rare and, and people like them. People like I just saw Jude Bellingham for like 500k flat. Now he's back up to 532. So not a lot of profit there, but 
These cards are really good to trade with. Also keep an eye on Thunderstrucks because these cards are continually moving up and down in the market as people are buying them because they're live. Hemp at 308, that's pretty low. I'm pretty sure she was 320 multiple times. She went down to 309 yesterday, was just 323 again. So like that's a card that I would say, all right, She's on a low for a fluctuation right now. There's not a card that would be coming out today that would really impact her value. That's maybe a fluctuation trade that we could get in on. So if I find this at like 300 flat, maybe on a bid or something like that right here, 292 on a cheeky start price, that might be a card that I would buy and try to flip on an out of pack. So you can look at icons, you can look at heroes. That's where I'd be trading today. But the market should do good things because people get their rivals reward. They go out, buy cards for teams and qualify for the weekend league. Now let's talk about investing in the cards that are about to go out of packs. I know I want to cover this because I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking about this as well. Do we need to invest in some of these cards before they go away? Honestly, I think there could be some of these that rise up. I think it might be on the lower tier just because when are you going to have the opportunity to buy Nani, put it in your team, and use him on full chemistry with technical plus all the different positions that he has. Maybe Zaha as well. Kessie, I think, is a card that could do very well out of packs. And if you're going to invest in any of these cards, it might have to be sometime today. Yes, they could drop a little bit tomorrow on Friday too before the new promo comes out. Um, and I'm not expecting this promo team to like absolutely explode out of packs. The last two promo teams, the Pro Live and the Thunderstruck cards, have done very well. But those are live cards. Not every promo does as good as those. I think a lot of people will want to invest in these radioactive cards, though, just because they're, well, of course, very bright. And it's the chemistry links that keep them interesting. Um, and to be completely honest, they're, they're a bit more rare. They're a bit more rare than other promos because, think about it, we had a lot less supply this week. So I'm definitely taking a look at some of these cards and thinking there could be investment opportunities today. Um, just remember that last week, last week after the uh, the marquee matchups time frame, we had a really, really crazy rise on a lot of the Thunderstruck cards because everybody was looking to go and invest. And that was a time that was the best time to buy with marquee matchup supply. So you might, if there's a card that you really think could go up and that you could invest in, you might want to actually look at that card and buy it before we get to marquee matchups today. Uh, like yesterday, Zaha dropped off a lot. He was down at 67K, 69K. Now he's about 70,000 coins. If he dips below, like this is the most used promo card in the team. If he goes back to like 67, 65,000 coins, that's a decent buy for me. 93 pace, five star skills, really good dribbling, quick step plus, like he's just pace. And I think formerly in the Premier League, it's a name that a lot of people know. That's a card that could do well out of packs. Cassie, again, I still feel good about. Maybe even Zinchenko. Maybe Perisic as well for being uh, in a mini-release type of situation. I think he's got potential with just uh, his the way that his card looks, being a 90-pace Perisic card. I'm not expecting these cards to explode. I'm just saying I think there could be investment potential here for a short-term buy and maybe a sell into the weekend if the new promo team doesn't look that good so do it at your own risk maybe do a little bit of research and maybe it's just you buy a card for your team that you want to try out and stuff like that but that's what i'm thinking there i did sell my willy on um and i did sell a couple other investments yesterday we're doing good on the coins i need to spend a little bit of coins though guys because once again i am so close to finishing mbappe man i am 19 of 20 but the club has been destroyed so i got one squad left to do hopefully we can play this weekend league with mbappe actually I'm going to get him done today. I've got the coins. I'm going to get Mbappe done today. Hopefully, we can pack something from rewards to help us out with that. But I will have completed this SBC. Right now, I spent about 700, 750K getting it done. If I can do this last 88 rated squad for less than 100K, which would be difficult but possible, um, that'd be awesome to have spent less than like 900,000 coins for this Mbappe. Even though Mbappe's probably getting another play of the month so we'll talk more about that of course as it comes in we'll cover everything related to foot news as it keeps coming up but that is the video for today guys if you did enjoy it smash thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys on the twitch stream today we'll be watching the market playing our champs quality games and oh we're probably going to get the ben acer spc today totally forgot to mention that um today kind of is like the last opportunity for us honestly to get a Ben Acer because the promo is ending, right? So I do expect Ben Acer radioactive SBC to be dropped today. Adama, I don't know. Anytime between today and Sunday because he was on the EA weekly content list. So we'll just have to see. But I do think that Ben Acer is coming today. Watch out for maybe some of your AC Milan links. Those can move a bit as well. And center mids could dip if it's a really good SBC. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, 
do a like, do the comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys this stream today. It's been Nate for the Accountant. Peace.